Let's friggin' go! Three one to the Chelsea at Southampton. At Southampton at Stamford Bridge. Oh my God! What so much happened in this game? There's so much to unpack in this game in today's match review that it's mind blowing. Ultimately, we get the result. Justice for Timo Werner. Some interesting, good performances. 3-1 on the night. Chelsea still yet to concede from open play in the Premier League. That's two penalties now and a goal from a corner, I think, from the man from the Manchester City, if that's how you say it. I've, I'm buzzing. I'm amped. I'm frustrated, but mainly feeling good. Oh my god. Let, okay, cool. So we're going to look at it. We're going to look at the timeline. We're going to talk about the player performances and we're going to talk about the major incidents in this game of which there are many. <sighs> drop a like to show your support to football therapy and drop a like to let me know if you're feeling good about this game. You are also welcome to subscribe if you'd like to. Let's have a look at the lineup. <laughs> This is how the game ended, but it was a 3-4-3 as it started, not a 3-5-2 as a lot of us assumed. Some people thought it might be uh, hudson Adoy at right wing back still, but no, he was left wing. So it was Mendy in goal, that back three you can see there, Rudiger, Thiago Silva and Trevor Chalobah with his 8.5 rating. Ben Chilwell makes his return. At left wing back. Lots to discuss about him in a moment, of course. Uh, the midfield pivot was neither Jorginho or Barkley. It was Kovacic and Ruben Loftus-Cheek starting in the Premier League. I tweeted two days ago. Two days ago, I was considering buying Loftus-Cheek for my FPL. Because I had a feeling. I said that. I didn't buy him. He got an assist. He played really well. Spoiler. Cedar Pliqueta. Playing at right wing back. Staying there. And the front three was Lukaku with uh, hudson Adoy. And Timo Werner behind him. Coming up against Southampton, they didn't start with a 3-4-3, but they certainly ended with it. War Prowse, of course, getting sent off. Let's have a look at the timeline, and then we're going to talk about player performances. And uh, probably should mention as well, Ross Barkley getting subbed on over the likes of Hakim Ziyech and Kai Havertz. Ooh la la, we started in scintillating fashion, ladies and gentlemen. Ruben Loftus-Cheek playing so, so well, assisting Trevor Chalaber. Um, probably, I'd say, I think it was a knock-on. There was a, he tried to head it on from a, from a set-piece situation. I don't think he was going for goal. Therefore, he gets a legitimately good assist for Trevor Chalaber at the far post, heading it in, brave. He was alone, but, you know, he was close to the post. Very, very good. And Chelsea are cooking for the remainder of the first half. I'm talking like we've got hudson Adoy looking like a prime left winger playing in his favoured and natural position in the left wing. He's doing nutmegs to Tino Livramento combining. We've got Antonio Rudiger doing sensational like dribbles through the midfield, playing it through to Romelu Lukaku, who scored, but it's ruled out for offside. Correctly, probably could have done better in terms of staying on side, I think, personally. And we have the absolutely varsical, shambolic situation of Timo Werner, who played so well in this game, having a goal ruled out because of a relatively soft Azpilicueta foul, in like phases and phases of play back, they VAR it. Mike Ruddy Dean in VAR makes Martin Atkinson look at this, and he could just be like, "This is ages ago. I'm gonna, you know, keep the decision." But when they look at the screen, nine out of ten, they change their decision. Felt so so sorry for Timo Werner at this point. Truly is the most unlucky player in the world. Playing so well, great finish, had it ruled for offside, and at this point, I'm thinking, you know. There's no justice. I feel so, so bad. And then Ben Chilwell on the hour mark concedes a penalty, as you can see there, uh, by fouling Tino Livramento in the box. And it is a penalty. And <laughs> what a story Chilwell's game was, man. Because in the first half, he played really well, I thought. I thought in terms of our general play, our functionality, our dynamic, our tactics, our chemistry. We were playing better with Chilwell than we have been with Alonso of late. And this always happens. Alonso has a little purple patch. He scores some goals. He stays in the team for a bit. But 
destiny always comes all the same. <laughs> Ben Jewell will be in the starting lineup in the latter stages and the Champions League final like last season. That's what happened. And it's a shame he did this silly mistake, a rush of blood, because it was a penalty. Um, and he his confidence was notably dropped from then uh, for a large period of the game, at least. Um, Ward Prowl steps up, converts it, lethal penalty. And it's one all, and now we have to, you know, make changes. Uh, Mason Mount comes on for Callum hudson Adoy. Of course, Mason Mount is a Pompey boy, Portsmouth fan. He hates Southampton. He got booed when he came on. He's got a really good ref. He scored two goals in four games against them for Chelsea, and for a player that doesn't score that many goals, very, very strong. And his immediate touch was, his first touch was like a little stylish flick, and he did play very well, and he added some high-octane intensity to the boys for Chelsea. We're getting frustrated, though. At this point, Southampton coming back into the game. We're frustrated until the 77th minute. <coughs> VAR has a sort of narrative switch. Ward Prowse comes in for a tackle of Jorginho outside our box. So he's obviously trying to press forwards and uh, nowhere near the ball and goes sort of through the back of Jorginho's ankle. And um, yeah, red card. It's not the most like radical, obvious red card you'll ever see, but it was immediately given as a yellow. And then he stared at the screen for a long time after Mike Dean had analysed this for a long time also. I was watching it, and I was watching after all this analysis, I was going, if they don't give it now, it would look ridiculous because of, you know, the, that ridiculous offside call for the Timo Werner goal in the first half. I was thinking that they would see, feel like an agenda and just teasing us with so much pause in the play to look at it. But he is sent off, and I think that's probably a red card, and that is fair. Uh, and, then, and then, But that doesn't mean Chelsea are just going to go ahead and win this. Do you know what I mean? It, I don't feel like that's the vibe because it could dig in now Southampton and go for a point and it would frustrate us. Um, Loftus-Cheek comes off for Ross Barkley in the 83rd minute. Loftus-Cheek who had a great game. We'll talk about player performances. Um, Ross Barkley comes on and plays an amazing pass immediately, almost immediately, to Cesar Piliqueta, who assists... Timo Werner coming in, running onto the Azpilicueta cross for what seems like the winner at this point. He celebrates. He absolutely deserved that goal so, so much from, like, a wicked performance. Um, and he celebrates the fans singing his name. We're feeling good. And then we start to cook again. We're playing well. We're lining up at the back post. And in the 89th minute who, Ben Chilwell, who's had ups and downs in this game like crazy, after an insane phase of play where the ball is just goal mouth scramble, saves are being made by McCarthy, it hits, Romelu Lukaku hits the crossbar. By the way, as well, talking about Timo Werner being the unluckiest player in the world, he should have scored a goal earlier and there was like a worldly save from Alex McCarthy that he just had no right to save that ball. And you think... You are unlucky. Mike Dean's against you, and McCarthy's suddenly going to pull out that against you. So up, you know, up until this point, you're thinking so, so unlucky, Timo Werner. Anyway, goal mouth scramble, ball popping all over the gap until Ben Chilwell, one of his trademark left foot volleys, which he meets so well with that left boot, much like Marcus Alonso, actually. The ball just goes over the line, and I'm see, I mean, literally by like that much. Goal mouth, goal line technology comes to save us in the end. 3-1 on the night, he may have conceded the penalty, but he gets that goal that he will feel the world of good so much better after scoring that goal. And uh, yeah, from the rest, you know, a couple of yellow cards for the Saints, they uh, they sort of lose their heads a little bit. And we just line up and try and score more goals. Let's talk about player performances then. Chalabar, obviously very, very good. We've just got this like seemingly world-class centre-back from the academy slotted in and scored a couple of Premier League goals already including a worldy, and that back post header was great, that's what you want, Thiago Silva took a yellow card for the team, but superb again, Rudiger with these like upfield dribbles, all the back three excellent, bearing in mind, the pet the goal was for a penalty from Ben Chilwell, he's got a 7.5 rating here on who scored, yes, he's confident notably dropped, confidence notably dropped after he conceded that penalty and played bad for like 10 minutes or something, but he is our starting left wing back and should be. I'm so happy for him. He has got a goal in him. Kovacic was great, you know, superb. He knows what he brings. Uh, receives the ball well, dribbles out of space. I think Loftus-Cheek, 
was the game changer in midfield. I think genuinely this is such a positive, feel-good success story having Loftus-Cheek in the midfield. And of course, Jorginho came on for him, um, protecting the ball for the red card challenge, um, which is which is a good piece of play from Jorginho. A lovely bit of acting from him as well to really... <laughs> sell the foul um but yeah all the midfielders very good as Pulaqueta excellent got an assist uh got a shot on hit the crossbar with a shot I think that's what that means um yeah very 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 good uh hudson Adoy, brilliant moments on the left wing um looks like you know I think he uh he assisted the ruled out goal with the McCarthy save or something not the ruled out goal anyway hudson Adoy looked great at left wing certainly infinitely better than he's been looking at uh, right wing back. Lukaku got relatively high rating here. Yeah, he obviously hit the crossbar as well. I think he went in and out of the game, but he 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 offered what he's good at, and that and that's superb. And it's very very close to scoring a goal. And for me, um, my man of the match, Timo Werner, should have had a couple of goals. Never stops running. What a trooper! Always presses the ball. Looks like his finishing touch is a little bit better. Um, and maybe it's me being a bit romantic giving him man of the match. I could possibly give it to Loftus Cheek as well. Um, but yeah. Ross Barkley coming on was a seemingly inspired <laughs> substitution because he makes he makes things happen. He makes the change. Uh, Mason Mount, obviously great. As soon as he comes on, high-octane pressure. We look like a different team as well. Um, but obviously, didn't play for that long. Had a shot saved as well. Uh, Mason Mount, very but very pleasing. Honestly, a really entertaining watch probably for the neutrals. Uh, ultimately, a great watch in the end for Chelsea fans. Uh, very, very pleased with the team performance after being so dominant in the first half, having things go against you and then conceding a penalty and like, you know, being one all for so long, but ending the game 3-1, that would do us the world of good going into the international break. Some superb performances. Tuchel will learn a lot. He'll be looking at Chalabar. He'll be looking at Loftus-Cheek. He'll be looking at Chilwell. And he'll be looking at hudson Adore in the left wing, thinking about Timo Werner's recent uptake in form. And that will be food for thought for the return of the Premier League and when we play against Brentford. Drop a like if you're feeling amped or if you just want to show your support. Um, consider subscribing if you're new, guys. Keep it locked to Football Therapy. I'm out. Enjoy the football. Please.